about the guys that you talk and they moving like zombies. Alright, before we get into the video, do me a huge favor and just turn your phone over sideways again and just like the video. It takes one second. It helps me out a lot. It helps this video out a lot. And another thing before we get into the stretch glass cleaner. If you're going to be a hater, just click off the video, bro. You don't got to watch the video. Alright, you're going to say for me to make a basic build name instead of this one. Like, you clicked on the video to watch this one, so watch it. If you want to make a, a basic build name, go 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 for it, bro. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not forcing your hand. I'm not putting a gun to your head saying, make the build or you're going to die. You don't got to watch the video. Now for the position, we're going to go power forward. Right-handed, we're going to put number eight, coach, that young vintage Kobe. And now for the pie chart, you're going to choose shooting and defending. And now here, the best one to go with, because you're going to be 6'7", trying to play the center position, you're going to need some strength. But your physicals are still going to be pretty decent. So we're going to max all these out. We're going to put all our finishing up until we hit 10 finishing. So right when we hit 10, so we go down 10 for our shooting. We're going to max it out until we hit 15. 15 shooting. And then here we'll, we'll get back to our perimeter because we're not going to fully max that out. We're going to max out the more the big man attributes. Then we're going to have a 69 perimeter defense. So we got 10, 15, 1, and 18 defensive. So that's what, like 44 badge upgrades. Now here, I say choose Burley, especially if you're going to be setting screens. Because if you're going to be setting screens, I feel like the hitbox to set screens and set more, like, set bigger bodies is with this, uh, this Bill. Or you could go with Bill or this, or the Burley. Because I feel like the skinnier players, I don't know why my glass, my glass cleaner, who's, like, super skinny, doesn't set as, like, big bodies compared to my mid-range finisher, who has, like, the Burley, like, built type. So here we got to go down to 6-7. Yes, I know. This is basically a perimeter lock at the, the power forward position with some finishing. So now if you want to make a perimeter lock, go ahead and make a perimeter lock, bro. I don't care. Here's where you could click off the video. But we're making a stretch glass cleaner. And you could defend at 6-7. Because I got a play, a play glass that's the same exact height, the same exact strength and all that. And he defends centers easy. So here, go up to 220. Because if we go anywhere else... We're going to get negatives. We're going to be doing trade-offs, basically. But this is just not a positive. Look, we got a little plus one to our strength and plus one to our interior defense, and nothing goes down. So now here, here's kind of where the kicker is. You got to go either minimum or one above minimum. If not, it's going to give you a different name. So I say one above minimum. Now here, if you need help with shooting, go with this. But you're going to be 6'7", trying to guard centers. You don't need the glass cleaner takeover. I can outboard a glass cleaner takeover if I have this takeover. This takeover helps you get up way better contest lock up animations and it makes you way more athletic when you activate the, the takeover so choose rim protector now we got a stretch glass cleaner okay we're gonna test the build I'm gonna give you the badges and for the defensive I'm gonna give you three badge setups so for the finishing we're gonna be small we're gonna be going against bigger players we need that slithery I'm gonna put on consistent finisher gold I'm gonna put silver Contact and Silver Giant Slay. You're not going to be dunking on people with, with Silver Contact Finisher, but it'll help you get some buckets. Now, for the shooting, these are the most basic. Now, your quick draw is completely up to you. You need the max range extender. Max hot zone hunter when you got your hot zones, and go here. Now, if you don't rock your range, I mean your quick draw on Hall of Fame, and you go gold, put, you could put this anywhere. I'd put it on catch and shoot. Some people don't care about Hall of Fame catch and shoot. You could put it on corner, dead eye, and if you... Just play with it if you want, but these two are your essentials. You want to keep as high as you can. Now here, this is good for any situation where you're shooting or hop step into the bucket. You need to pass out. Now the first badge setup I'm gonna give you is with to guard just purely guards. If you're only playing the guard position, you're guarding guards. Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame intimidator, bronze chase down, interceptor. I say put your rim. I put rebound chaser bronze because sometimes you're going to probably have to get a board. If you have no rebound chaser at all, it's not going to give you no good animations. And then I would say put pogo stick. If you don't care for pogo stick, because guards like to rim run and some of them like to like go down their ball fake 50,000 times, this pogo stick's going to help. All right. So if you don't believe in pogo stick, go ahead and change this up and put it on your chase down or your pickpocket or whatever you want to do. But this is what I usually run my stuff on. Now I'm going to give you another badge setup. So 
it's going to be a hybrid to guard both centers and guards. So we're going to go gold clamps, Hall of Fame Intimidator, chase down, gold here, gold here, gold here, and then it's kind of up to you. I would say interceptor, or you could go pick dodger, but pick dodger don't work as it is unless you have it on a high level, but even then you get big body. So I say do this with it. So this if you're guarding both guards and centers in the same game. Like if you have to keep switching off guard and centers and guards. And then for the last one, I'm going to give you the purely guard and centers setup. So we're going to, actually we don't need clamps. We're going to go moving truck, pogo stick goal, run protector, hall of fame, rebound chaser, intimidator, and bronze chase down. Now this will help you get... This will keep you from getting backed under the bucket consistently by big paint beasts or whatever. Now, if you don't care for moving truck and you believe post move lockdown works better, go ahead and go with this. I use moving truck too, so they don't put me under the bucket. So this is your garden center. So you got pogo stick to keep jumping. You got the rim protector to get the block. Hall of Fame rebound chaser to outboard the centers, and then intimidator just to play good defense. All right. So this is the bad setup. I gave you three defensive bad setups. So hopefully you like this video. This is a dope build. This is a perimeter lock with like a little less like defensive like ratings because perimeter locks get like mid 80 ratings off rip. This one gets like mid 70s to high 70s. But it's just a dope name to have a stretch glass clean. If you want to make a perimeter lock, go ahead. I don't care. I wish I could make this build. I wish 2K would just get, if we make the build, I wish 2K would just give us the badges for the build and just have us grind the overall. That'd be perfectly fine with me, but hope you liked the video. Make sure you subscribe, post notifications. I'm thinking about streaming on Twitch, uh, playing 2K or a bunch of other games. I don't want to stream other games on my YouTube. But yeah, so subscribe, post notifications, like the video. Let me know what you want to see. Until next time, I'm out. So I was going to end the video there, but I realized we're almost at the 10 minute mark. We're at seven minutes. And yes, the dude in the middle is Chris Brickley. It's his account. This is the... He's a shooting coach. He's a world-renowned shooting coach slash skills coach. And the one you get your jump shot creator from. But off rep, C. Porter. This is who I met him through. C. Porter, I believe, is like a photographer for the NBA. But yeah, we were just running up on the threes. We ended up going on like a 14 or 16 game streak. And then they, a bunch of elites pulled up with all lockdowns. Because they, you know, people can't win without their all lockdown lineup. I swear to God. And yes, this is gameplay for my play glass who is 6'7". Almost minimum wingspan. His his wingspan is one above minimum. You see, look at we are playing against Doodle Bob, so they have bum tendencies. And that white right there, trust me, it does not happen all the time, especially on this player. Because my three ball, I think is like a 70, 70, 71. I think it's a 71. And like out of 10 games, I'll probably make one white if I'm lucky. But a lot of these little Doodle Bobs or whatever they are will be hitting like they'll, they'll shoot like five whites and maybe hit three of them. Like 2K needs to fix their game. I'm tired of all these these buffs and nerfs and then now everybody just makes whites, bro. That's the only way I lose is if people shoot and make five whites a game. Like I hate that so much. Or if you got what's it called? Rebound and wings. That's how I lost. It came down. It was 2020. And it was um a rebound and wing. Accidentally hit a moving shot, limitless range from the top of the key. From the other team. I was so mad. And I'm not talking about this team. We didn't lose to this team. I'm talking about the one that beat us off our like 14 or 16 game streak. The one that the all lineup, the all lockdown lineup. We see C Porter pass it to the young Kobe. You, you can't leave me open. A lot of these centers, especially the Doodle Bob centers, they leave me open because they see playmaking glass and they think I can't shoot. And at the time of this recording, I only had, I think, seven shooting badge upgrades. But for the most part, I was running with like six shooting badge upgrades. But recently, a lot of centers been letting me shoot, so I've been getting a few upgrades. But yeah, I only had seven shooting badge upgrades with a 70, 71 three ball. Bro, I was splashing out. But these boys gave me my takeover. Sadly, I don't get to use it. You're going to see that I don't get to use my playmaking takeover to booty butt drop somebody. But it's all good. We're just, we're just out here to have fun and just win. And if I'm playing with somebody that has a logo or just, just new people in general, I'm going to let them do what they do and see if they get their buckets. And if they really need a bucket, I'm going to take over the game. But for the most part, if I know they can get their own buckets, I'm just going to chill and play my role until it comes time for for young fourth quarter Kobe to come out. See, at this point, I thought this dude gave up. thought he gave up. See, I think he was thinking about quitting out, but realized the game's almost over. Just forget it. Uh, what is this dude shooting? Like, 
some of y'all i don't know what y'all be thinking some of y'all i it don't matter c porter hits young berkeley in the corner for the wide open three he whites it but it goes in coach at this i had floor general on dimer everything we were just we were just killing stuff i don't know what it was or we were just dropping buckets but hope you liked the video i didn't want to just give you a black screen for the rest of the 10 minutes um yeah now actually this time it's for real until next time i'm out